In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to Squarespace. So if you've got a domain name on GoDaddy, I'll show you how you can quickly get it connected. So first, what you want to do is go to Squarespace, then go to your profile icon and then go to domains. Now, once you're in domains, you may already have some domains connected. I'm just going to go ahead and manage my domain settings and remove this one. So it's now brought me to my domains settings and I can now go ahead and click on this and I'll just delete it. So we'll disconnect this domain. For you though, you might not have any domains. So for you to get to this page, you wanna head over to your website, then go to settings in the bottom right, and then you should see domains. Now you can click user domain I own. Now you can enter in your domain from GoDaddy. So go to GoDaddy, go to your account, log in, and then head over to my products, and that will take you into the back end of your account where you'll be able to see your domains. So I'm gonna connect this domain here, searchbasemethod.com. So we're gonna copy this domain and we're gonna go ahead and paste it into this box here and then click go. It's now gonna recognize the domain name that you own and it's recognized that it's registered with GoDaddy. Now we can go ahead and click connect domain. We don't wanna transfer this domain over to Squarespace. We just wanna connect it. So click connect domain and it's going to now give you instructions on how you can connect your domain. So click get started. And it's going to tell you here that you need to go to the GoDaddy sign in and sign in with your account. And when you're signed in, click next below. Now, because I'm already here and I'm already signed in, I can just click next. And now what we need to do is update the name servers. So we need to first go to our GoDaddy's DNS management. So go to your domain and then head over to the DNS settings. It might be a little bit different depending on how you get there but just head over to your DNS settings and it should look something like this. So now you need to go to your name servers and click change and you need to enter your own name servers. And what you wanna do is copy these two name server records into the name server fields. So go ahead and go to name servers on GoDaddy and then here click change name servers and click here, no, I'll use my own name servers. So now you need to copy these two name servers. So I'll copy the first one and then paste it in here and the second one and then paste it in here. Now I've done that, we can now click save and it's now editing these name servers and we just need to verify these. It's gone and sent me an email with a six digit code. So I'm just gonna get this email and then I'll be back. So now I've entered in this code, we'll click verify and that should be all good. So there we go, success, your request is in progress. Right, so now let's go back to Squarespace and we'll click on finish and it should then recognize that we've added these name servers. So you can see it's now in progress and it could take now up to 24 hours to finish. So click done and all you've got to do now really is wait. You can see connection is in progress. If you want to check if you've done this right, I mean, you can't really do it wrong, but if you want to check if you've done it right, copy your domain name and then go to DNS checker and then go ahead and open up this website and paste in your domain and then click search. If everything here is green, it means you've done everything correct. You're just going to have to wait up to 24 hours for the change to be in effect. But that's how you can do it. I hope that video did help you out.